Hormone replacement therapy is the replacement of estrogen and progestogen that women lose after the menopause. For some women, it also includes testosterone, but for the majority of women, it's estrogen and progesterone. HRT can be given either as tablets or as patches or as gels or spray and most women will have the choice of which one they want to use. For some women they will be suggested a particular type of HRT for medical reasons but generally speaking women can usually choose. There are different types of HRT and it will depend a little bit on what stage of your menopause that you're at. So if you're still seeing periods or you've had a period in the last 12 months, then you'll be given a cyclical HRT containing oestrogen and progesterone. And that means you're likely to have a period every month whilst you're on it. If your natural periods are stopped, perhaps a year or so or more, then you'll go on a continuous HRT, which means that you'll have oestrogen and progesterone throughout the cycle. You can take HRT as long as you need it, and the problem is that once you start HRT, you don't know how long you're going to need it. So many women go on it for maybe a couple of years to start with to see how they're getting on, and if their symptoms are persisting, they may well choose to stay on it even longer. And there's no reason necessarily to come off HRT, providing your health is good, and every year you should have an assessment with your healthcare practitioner just to see is it still um, right for you, are you still on the right one? And as you stay on it longer, you might want to change the type of HRT that you're on. The ladies that have had a hysterectomy are in the position where they don't need progesterone because progesterone or progestogen is only given to protect the womb lining. So if you've had a hysterectomy, you don't have a womb, so you'll use oestrogen on its own, either as a tablet, a patch or a gel or spray. So yes, it's a different type of HRT. It's quite common when you first start HRT to get some early side effects. So things like maybe headaches or breast tenderness, very common, and they usually settle within about six to eight weeks of being on treatment. Some women will need a change in dose to get rid of the side effects, and some women will find that the first HRT that they're given isn't the best for them. So sometimes we tweak or tailor the HRT to try and eliminate side effects. Women go on HRT mainly because of symptoms. So that's things like flushes and sweats, vaginal dryness, headaches, mood changes, and those are the things that are the benefits of HRT. You see an improvement in those symptoms and quite quickly as well. So most symptoms will see an improvement within two to three weeks, but for full benefit, I'd say you need to give it three to four months. Other benefits of HRT, well, while you're on HRT, if you're within the normal age range, so 50 to 60, you'll see cardiovascular benefits. And as long as you're on HRT, you're also protecting your bones from osteoporosis. You're protecting the urogenital system, so that's the bladder, the vagina, improving sexual function, and also cognition, understanding, memory. For most women who go on to HRT between 50 to 60, or if they have early menopause, the risks are um, outweighed by the benefits. And that's a personal discussion between you and your uh, prescriber. We need to talk about the risks of breast cancer, which are in association with long-term use of HRT. We've known this for a long time. We've had a lot of data now showing that women who stay on HRT over five years, and particularly 10 years, there is an association with an increased risk of breast cancer. However, we need to put that in perspective because it is only one risk factor and women themselves carry other risk factors. So, for example, if you have a glass of wine a day or if you're carrying extra weight, then it's a very similar risk to taking HRT. So, yes, there is a risk, but we need to make sure that women understand the perspective of risk.